The situation between Hamas and Israel remains tense, and there is no end in sight to the conflict, which has grown increasingly violent over the recent days. Now, speaking out of the UN office in Gaza City, the director of the United Nations Relief and Works Agency in Gaza says that's where he and his team are currently having to sleep due to the ongoing violence. Now, uh, Matthias Schmale, uh, who is the director of the UNRWA, says there had been a lot of human tragedy in the past few days. Several school children attending special schools set up by the agency had been killed by airstrikes, along with many homes and buildings in Gaza. Listen in. The situation remains extremely tense and volatile. I was just looking up because uh, literally half a minute ago there was another rocket incoming. Um, it, we've had a rough night. I am speaking to you from our UN headquarters here in Gaza. And uh, during the night, uh, there were at least five times, uh, we are also sleeping at our offices at the moment, at least five times where I was basically jolted out of bed because there were very strong strikes um, close to our office, uh, is Israeli retaliatory strikes, that is. There's a lot of human tragedy going on about, uh, around this. Not only are buildings destroyed, which means people lose their apartments, their place to live. We have in UNRWA had seven of our UNRWA school children killed over the last 48 hours. Um, yesterday, I got to know that one of my senior colleagues had her sister and niece killed in an airstrike. And we have a further school girl who has uh, a shrapnel lodged in her chest and is in hospital. So it's tense and it doesn't look like there is an end in sight at the moment. Majes Kamala has uh, called on international community to give a clear message to both sides to end the conflict. Because with no side giving a sense that they are backing down, this could get worse yet. I have seen no indication, nor has anyone else from either side to back down. Um, and, and it's already been extremely intense, uh, just to give you a sense of this in 2014. So in the last war, we had 1,500, uh, 4,000 rockets fired from here. By now, we have already 1,500 just in the last 48 hours. And the Israeli reaction is of similar intensity. So with no side giving a sense that they're backing down, this could get worse yet. Now, what Israel and Gaza are witnessing today is the worst violence since the 2014 war, a war that lasted for about 50 days and left thousands of people in Gaza and at least 70 in Israel dead. With no resolution in sight, the violence in the region continues. Israel has killed a string of senior Hamas military leaders and hammered the Gaza Strip with airstrikes, and the Hamas fired rocket barrages towards Israeli cities. There has also been a burst of fury from Israel's Palestinian citizens in support of those living in the territories, as well as counter-violence by Jewish Israelis. Something that did not happen in 2014, and Israel's mixed Jewish-Arab cities are paying the price of this conflict, the city of Lod has been on the foil. A 32-year-old Arab man was shot and killed in clashes earlier this week. At his funeral, protesters torched cars and hurled stones. A synagogue and a Jewish-owned restaurant were also set on fire. Over 150 people have been arrested by the police. Now, the clashes were also reported in the northern Haifa port, where Palestinian flag-waving protesters scuffled with police. In Batyam, south of Tel Aviv, a mob was seen savagely beating a man that they believed to be Arab. Border guards have been deployed in the city of Lod and Accra. אנחנו עושים את המירב ואת המיטב כדי לחזק את תושבי לוד, כדי לתקוף חזק מאוד, וזה גם חשוב, כי זה לא רק היקף הכוחות, זה גם האופי הפעילות והפעלת הכוח. יהיו שונים. זו הציפייה שלי במשטרה, זו ההנחיה, ואני אה, מצפה גם לראות את זה בשטח. Now, President Reuven Rivlin said that while the country is endangered by rockets being launched, people are busying themselves with a senseless civil war. 
Israel's Defense Ministry, Benny Gantz, called the Jewish Arab violence no less than the Hamas rockets. He said that we must not win the Gaza battle and lose at home. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu issues a video statement where he pledged to grant police emergency powers for crackdown. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.